Well, hello everyone. My name is Dom Castillo. And for this part of ecology, we'll be looking at species diversity and aquatic turtles. Our first turtle is my yellow belly slider, Tommy. This species is mostly found in rivers, swamps, and marshes. As you can see, it has a large bony shell. This protects them from predators such as alligators. This species is also known to be omnivorous, so they eat plants, small fish, insects, and frogs. Their long claws help them tear through prey with ease. These spiders can be seen with each other sunbathing. Ecologists can identify each one by the underside. As you can see, he has a different set of patterns and spots on his underbelly. This is different between many different sliders, and it helps the ecologists determine which species they recapture and which one they, fi are, they find new. Our next species is my spiny softshell turtle, Snoopy. He lives in the same environments as Tommy, but is has different morphological differences, such as his sleek shell, which kind of makes him look like a pancake with legs. But this sleek shell helps him move faster across the water and run away from prey faster and catches prey faster. This species is mostly carnivorous, so they don't eat any plant matter of any sort. Another point of feature is his long nose. This long nose helps him sniff out prey from mo from a few feet away, which is better than Snoop Tommy's nose who only smells food from a short distance. Both of these species live about 20 years and are found in the southeastern United States. They both behave differently, but they have similar morphological similarities. Both species will, you know, approach the same length in time, but for right now, these two are still growing. Well, I hope that's all for today. Say goodbye, Tommy and Snoopy. We'll talk to you again later.